Hey guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for clicking into my video. My name is Tikas and in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can use groundnut water to close your Jerusalem. Groundnut water has numerous amazing benefits. One of which is to close and snap back your womanhood. This remedy is mostly for women who have given birth to two or more children. But if you're a single lady and you think that your Jerusalem is a little bit open, you can use this groundnut water to tighten it up. Apart from that, you can use groundnut water to treat infections, high blood pressure, and infertility cases. Now that you are aware of the amazing benefits of groundnut water, let me show you how it works. First of all, this is my groundnut. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add some water into it to wash it thoroughly to avoid the chemicals that they use to preserve it. Next, I have to spread it on this back for it to get dry before proceeding to boiling it but before i continue guys please support my channel by hitting that subscription button below this video make sure you turn the bell on as well in order not to miss any of my videos here i have my frying pan which i'm going to use in boiling my ground nuts here i'll be transferring this ground nut into my frying pan and then add some water into it Make sure the quantity of water you are adding is enough to carry you through. Next, I'm going to stand it on the cooker and let it cook for 10 minutes. Make sure you let it boil until the water changes into a brownish color. So I'll be covering my pot. So guys, let's go back to check it. As you can see, it's already boiling. Yeah, I think it is ready. You can see the water has already changed into brownish color. Next, you have to turn off the flame and let it sit for a few seconds. So that it can cool down because you cannot drink it as it is hot. Next, we have to strain out the juice. Yeah, you can call it the juice. Yeah, the groundnut juice. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly the color you're supposed to have after boiling it. Now transfer it into the glass. You have to make sure you take one full glass every morning for a period of five days. And you will be noticing changes down there in your Jerusalem. You know what I mean, ladies. When I talk about Jerusalem, I don't want to call it in the real name. I don't want to use the real name. Yeah, it is your Jerusalem, in case you want to leave a comment down there, don't call the real name, call it your Jerusalem. <laughs> if you're taking this remedy, make sure you're consistent. After the five days, you're going to notice how your Jerusalem has tightened up. The second method you can use is by using a cotton wool to soak it into the groundnut water soak it real well and the next thing just take it that this wood spoon is your jerusalem use the cutting wool to massage it all over as i'm doing as i'm showing you massage it real well for about 15 minutes after massaging it real well you can leave it to sit again for about 15 minutes then you can wash it with your normal clean water. Do that consistently for a period of 
five days as well. And you're going to see how tightening your Jerusalem will be. It's going to tighten you down. So we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, leave a comment below, subscribe, and share the video to your friends and families. Before I forget, there are upcoming videos I'm going to shoot today. If you're interested, stay connected. One of these videos is talking about how to treat fibroid at home. So if you have anybody suffering from fibroid, make sure you watch this video and share it to help that person out. The second one is talking about how you can effectively treat hemorrhoid. That is PAR. How you can treat PAR at home. So if you have anyone suffering from any of these diseases, make sure you watch the videos and share it to them so that you can help someone. Thanks for watching. Bye.